Bismillahirrahmanirrahim <coughs> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh For today, I would like to present regarding uh, my lab report The title is Isolation of Bacteria from Live Fish For the subject, SA6243 Fish Health Management Okay, my name is Muhammad Azri bin Muhammad uh, Currently, I'm a Master of Science Aquaculture student From Faculty of Fisheries and Food Science, University of Malaysia Terengganu This is my lecture Professor Dr. Muhammad Effendi bin Abdul Wahid also a dean in the Faculty of Fisheries and Food Science University of Malaysia Terengganu so I go to the first section regarding introductions so as you can see uh, we have the sample fish uh, on the 4th April 2021 on the Sunday at the AD Fisheries Enterprise Gong Tepas Marang so the owner is uh, Mr. Adli bin Muhammad, uh, 35 years old, have a diploma in aquaculture UPM, uh, which have a uh, 12 years experience in marine cages. So basically, the species have been captured is sea bass and the uh, hybrid grouper. So uh, we take a live uh, hy uh, a live hybrid grouper from the cages and uh, we put and quarantine and uh, in the freshwater hatchery in Musi Malaysia Tengganu. So basically the fish has been selected uh, based on the in situ diagnosis which uh, ab uh, consists of abnormal swimming and the fish is isolated from other fish. Okay the second sample is uh, the red tilapia so uh, the, the date is uh, 7 April 2021 on the Wednesday so the fish is rear in the freshwater hatchery in University of Malaysia Terengganu so the healthy red tilapia was chosen to compare with the sick fish uh, the hybrid grouper and want to differentiate between the freshwater and marine fish Okay, so the date and location of the lab is on the 7 April 2021 which uh, in the location is the Aquatic Organism Health, Health Lab in the University of Malaysia Terengganu uh, consists of two species which hybrid grouper and red tilapia. So the live uh, hybrid grouper and red tilapia were taken from the hatchery and to the lab to isolate bacteria. So the bacteria were captured from various organ of fish using plate algae and stored in the room temperature. So basically, this is the the organ in the fish we want to exam examine. So the outside we uh, uh, want to have the bacteria in the skin and the gills. Meanwhile, in the inside, we focus on the liver, kidney, and intestine. So I go to the material and method. So basically, uh, this is uh, the material being used. Uh, it consists of inoculation loops, Bunsen burner, sterile cotton swab. Dyson sex kit and the uh, agar with TSA tripsic soil algae for the red tilapia and marine algae agar for hybrid grouper so the first method is uh, we must prepare all equipment and fish and we need to spray the table and equipment using alcohol for uh, what they call the sanitize and we put the fish on the tray and then we need to pitting the fish which mean it's uh, proper to make the fish dead okay now we go to the for the skin and gills isolation so the first we need we need to remove the sterile sterile cotton swab from the packaging uh, we then we swab the fish skin fish uh, or the gills using the cotton swab uh, we sweep uh, we swap a zigzag at the plate agar and we close and the seal the petri dish and then we store at the temperature uh, the room temperature basically why we use uh, the room temperature because uh, they have uh, uh, we we need uh, uh, the next uh, what they call the subculture will be about uh, about uh, five days more Okay. so we need to put in into the room temperature we want to uh, slow down what they call the bacteria growth ok I show you the video regarding skin swab ok as you can see uh, I use the cotton sterile swab and I swab on the surface of the skin of the red tilapia and then I open the petri dish which consists of the agar and then I do the zigzag swap 
on the agar plate and then I close down the agar okay next I show you the video regarding the gill swap this is for the insang yeah insang this is insang in the Malay for gills and then I open the operculum and then I swap uh, using the sterile cotton swap on the surface of the gills okay and then again I put into the label uh, agar so I do the zigzag swap and okay, then I close down the little dish now your turn this is okay now I go to the method number two for liver intestine and kidney so what we need is first we need to cut down the skin using the scented uh, scissor to open the internal organ so we use the sterile inoculation loop using Bunsen burner and cool down it for a few seconds and then we swept liver using inoculation loop first we swept the zigzag at the plate again and close and the seal the petri dish and we repeat the step 2 to 5 for the intestine and the kidney and again so I, I as I mentioned earlier we store at the room temperature now I show you uh, the video regarding the liver swab okay. so this is part. yeah this is the okay. liver part and we use the inner coulomb and then we do the zigzag on the agar plate okay next uh, video regarding intestine swab okay so in order to have the intestine we need to yeah, pick up the intestine and then we need to cut deep inside of the intestine and then we we do the swab inside the intestine so it's very small we need to uh, very careful this is our first time uh, using <laughs> the intestine swab so uh, a bit difficult for us okay. and the only one yeah and then we again we use the zigzag swab on the plate again okay next uh, for the last video for the kidney swab as you can see uh, the kidney is uh, located deeper inside in the internal organ so we need you, uh, to go to the liver and uh, the intestine and the last part is uh, on the kidney okay Okay. Rahimi. Okay. okay. And the last, uh, sorry, <laughs> the last uh, regarding the labeling for the isolating bacteria. Okay. As you can see, this uh, the label we use uh, uh, T for uh, T for tilapia and for M is stand for the mer uh, male. Uh, we use the sample uh, male tilapia. So we use the date. Uh. Okay. So for the result, as you can see, okay, result will be obtained after. Five days, as which uh, the 12th April 2021, on the Monday, uh, we are store in the room temperature. As you can see, uh, this is uh, we have uh, what they call uh, the bacteria. So we have detection of bacteria and fungus at all plates, and then we need to subculture the bacteria 
to a new plate which uh, we will have during on the 4th April 14 April 2021 because we need uh, to produce a freshly battery and now we, we need to produce 24 hours result using incubator for the next uh, subculture so I go to the subculture of bacteria so the date is as I mentioned earlier is a 14 April 2021 a location organ, organ, aquatic organism help, help, help lab in the University of Malaysia Terengganu so the sample from the 7 April will subculture into new media to produce freshly new bacteria for gram standing bacteria identification to estimate colony uh, forming unit CFU by serial dilution plating and antibiotic sensitivity test I go to the, me the method. So this is the material we are use uh, in the collection loop, Bunsen burner, a Dyson shape kit, and also the same uh, AG, TSA and MA. And for this, we use uh, all the all the swab uh, the sakache we use uh, we done in the laminar flow to prevent contamination. Okay, so the method is okay the first one is sterile inoculation loop using Bunsen burner and cool down it for a few seconds and then the swab uh, surface at a bit of the single colony so we identify from the sample of the 7 April a single colony of bacteria use uh, and uh, agar plate using an inoculation loop and then again we using a swab zigzag at the plate again and close and see the plate dish and for this uh, subculture, we need to uh, to store in the incubator temperature for about 24 hours. Okay, this is what they call the ZZ swab. Okay, this is the initial op opaculum. And after that, we use the second strip using the, from the first initial, we do the second. And then from the, this one, the third step, we, we use uh, from the ending of the second set. And then for the fourth of the street from the what they call the end of the third set. Okay, this is I show the subculture video uh, I've done in the laminar floor. So hari ini kita akan buat subculture daripada sampel bacteria yang kita buat um, sampel pada tujuh hari bulan empat. Hmm. Ini adalah sampel daripada usus. Uh, yeah, this is the sample from the intestine of the hybrid grouper. So, I just sterilize it. Okay, as you can see, uh, I take the what they call a, a thick, a bit surface of the single colony. Yes, and then I done the first uh, zigzag swab. So this is the my first time <laughs> doing the uh, zigzag culture, uh, and then I sterile the wire loop, and then I use uh, another uh, bin sterile wire loop, and then I do the second swab uh, using the ending of the first uh, swab. Okay, I sterilized the wire loop and then I I took uh, another one which have been uh, cooled down so I do the third uh, swap from the ending of the second swap and last okay I use to the fourth swab okay this is a bit different because I need to basically in the fourth culture in the fourth swab uh, so the the percentage of the okay. Itu saja. <coughs> the percentage of the single colony will be much in the fourth swab because we have been uh, what they call uh, reduce uh, amount of the bacteria okay for the result as you can see this is the uh, sample from the red tilapia so basically this is a full of uh, fungus and this is a good example uh, as you can see have a single colony produce here okay this is uh, from the sample of hybrid grouper so it's a, a bit different 
Uh, so this is uh, another plenty uh, of uh, variety of bacteria. So as, a, as as for the result, we, we have a detect of variation of bacteria. So we need to have a single colony produced to proper staining of the bacteria. So we now proceed to the identification type of bacteria using the gram staining method. So I go to the gram staining of bacteria introduction parts. <coughs> what are the principle of gram staining of bacteria is first to aim to differentiate the two principle of group bacteria. So the the what they call the technique is developed by the Hans Christian Gram in 1884. So to differentiate the two major group, a gram positive and gram negative bacteria. So the gram positive bacteria basically have a cell wall attic and meanwhile for the gram negative bacteria is a vice versa. So after gr gram staining, the gram positive bacteria will appear in the dark blue or violet meanwhile for the gram negative bacteria will appear red in color in the agar plate. So the log date and uh, so the lab will done have been done in the 15th April 5th ap 15 April 2021 in the Aquatic Organism Health Lab in Universiti Malaysia Terengganu. So we use the subculture bacteria for the 4th April 2001. So and then uh, we do the standing process to determine the two the categories of bacteria. So this is the method and method. So as you can see this is uh, the what they call the chemical parts. We use the okay according to the chronology. So the first we use uh, crystal violet and iodine by iodine solution and then alcohol and the safranin. So this is uh, we the sample from the <coughs> slide sorry uh, the the sample will be uh, on the microscope uh, microscope glass slide okay this is a uh, plastic pipe for put the chemical into the glass slide so for the method so we need to have a thin smear was prepared by the given bacteria species on the clean glass slide and then we let the smear dry and then we heat physic physic uh, the smear and we cover its smear with the crystal violet chemical uh, crystal violet for one minute after that we wash uh, the slide with uh, distilled water for a few seconds using a wash bottle and then we uh, cover uh, the smear uh, with the grape iodine solution for one minute and then we gently wash the with the distilled water and we use uh, we decolorize with alcohol for about three seconds and then we wash again the slide uh, using the distilled water and drain and for the last step we counter stain with the safranin for about 30 seconds and then we again we wash the slide with the distilled water and we blot dry with the absorbent paper and then we and the stain slide will air dry and then before we observe under the microscope so i showed you the video regarding the staining video uh, staining uh, gram staining bacteria <coughs> so I can see see we only have the video on the second part which uh, the second part of the using the <coughs> yeah the, the sub, uh, sorry the iodine so this alcohol we need to uh, yeah clear all the stain color only for three seconds kita letak nama sangat dia akan hilangkan semua sekali ah, ok if you put uh, the alcohol uh, uh, too long we when we remove all the bacteria and for the last uh, session we will use uh, safranin for about 30 seconds ni 30 saat ok we count down Thank you.
then we wash uh, the glass slide tu kita kena tahu kat atas bawah sebab nanti kita ni tapi kita tengok kat belakang sebab so kita kena tap dengan Okay, and then we need to yes uh, to dry with the tissue. Okay, then we go to the air dry before we uh, observe in the microscope. Okay, then we go to the air dry before we observe in the microscope. Okay, then we go to the air dry before we observe in the microscope. As for the result, okay, as you can see, okay, there are two different type of color. Okay, this is uh, the blue or violet, and this is uh, the red. So for the result, so bacteria gram positive uh, is uh, appear in the dark blue or violet color. Meanwhile, so the what they call this from the left in the picture. Okay, this is uh, the gram positive. Okay, so gram bacteria gram negative red. Okay, which in the red colors. So, however, the result show bacteria colony not produce a pure culture because maybe because uh, from our technique is not very good. So we need to improve on the bacteria subculture techniques. So, however, in order to de to to detect what type of the bacteria, we need to go to the identification of bacteria, which need to the go to process uh, using the PCR or API method. So, for the precaution procedure, for all times we need to wear rubber glove, face mask, lab coat at all time when in the lab. And always sanitize hand before, during, and after a lab session uh, to prevent the contamination uh, to transfer the bacteria into us. And all the bacteria plate must uh, and all the equipment uh, disposable must be put in the disposable bag be before put into autoclave uh, to have the pathogen eradication to kill the all the pathogen. Okay, this is uh, the references that I've used. Okay, thank you. That's all. Thank you for listening for my presentation. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.